Welcome everyone, this is John Sheely as Director of Research and Development for imadaytrader.com. Today we're going to talk about trading stocks versus financial commodities. But as you know, we must review our risk disclaimers. Trading carries a high degree of risk and trading may not be suitable for all persons. Past returns are not indicative of future results. Please review our risk disclaimer very carefully. Additionally, I place our hypothetical disclaimer as well. In IamADayTrader.com, we create a great amount of research and the creation of indicators and strategies. Like other research firms, we use hypothetical data to create our discoveries. Please review our hypothetical disclaimer very carefully. Let's take a look at a very popular stock, of course, and that's Apple. I'm showing you a one minute chart of the stock of Apple and we've recently had a nice little bull market here but let's talk about what's required to take this trade in regards to Apple. Let's say you had a 10 cent objective and of course if I had a thousand shares then I'd have this objective for a hundred dollars. If I had a 20 cent objective basically the entire run here, then you'd look at $200 or for the same thousand shares. Say we put a stop loss of 10 cents on this particular trade, so we'd have a risk of about $100. What is the capital that is required to put this position on for a thousand shares? Well, let's take a look. For this thousand share position, the capital would be required if you had just one to one with no margin it's a hundred and eighteen thousand dollars let's say you had a margin account margin is two to one so you'd have about fifty nine thousand that would be required now how about if someone is a pattern day trader and of course if you have that ability in regards to your stock account then you'd have a four to one margin during the day now in regards to therefore you'd have a 29,500 available for this particular position of a thousand shares. Let's talk about the expense of putting on this thousands of shares. Well actually as you can tell commission varies tremendously. It can be as low as five dollars and maybe even slightly less but we know different brokers you could have a stock cost of $15. That's one side, just the buy side. Well, let's say I want to go ahead and take profits and I sell. So I buy and a sell. Okay, the total cost of this particular position is at least $10 to $30 for each trade. Since I've talked about a pattern day trader, the requirements to be a pattern day trader means that you must have at a minimum of $25,000 in your account. Let's say you want to kind of pump it up just a little bit so it's not exactly at $25,000. Let's say we had a $30,000 account and you're going to be a pattern day trader that's going to allow you to have the 4 to 1 margin that is required. So in other words, to make that $100 to $200 in this trade, you would need at least a $30,000 account. Now let's take a look at commodities. Now I'm looking at the same movement in regards to crude futures in this one minute chart just like we saw in the stock of Apple. And so we had a big price decline here. Let's say we had a 10 cent objective. Entering this trade in here, if you had a 10 cent objective that is a hundred dollars for one contract. If you had a 20 cent objective during this little bearish trend here, you would then be able to make two hundred dollars for one contract. If you put a stop loss of 10 cents, you would have a loss of about a hundred dollars. What is the capital that is required to make this trade? Well, the current margin is $3,200. But remember that if the market is more volatile, then you're going to see a larger requirement in regards to margin. 
Now, what is the beauty of this particular trade? Commissions. The commission cost for this same trade is $5 or less total. Now, we do have a contract such as the E-mini crude oil. The symbol is QM. And actually, the margin can be even less. It's 1600 But remember, contract is not as active as the normal crude contract. But let's talk about the capital that would be required to enter this trade. I show an example of a commodity account of $10,000. Now, the reason I say that is that if you were going to risk $100 as a stop loss, then a 1% risk would be $100. So if you had a one-to-one -one ratio of which a stop loss of $100 and a profit objective of $0.10, cents, you're looking at $100. So that is why a $10,000 account may be suitable to place this trade. Now granted, the margin is less than that. That's only 3200 But if you're going to risk 1% of your capital in placing this one contract, a $10,000 commodity account would be appropriate. Now here I've showed you the price action in a time-based chart, in a one-minute chart. Let's take a look at a different kind of chart. Here we're taking a look at the 233 tick chart in crude oil. Just remember that every bar that you see is created by every time there's 233 separate ticks. When that 233 ticks occur, then a new bar is created. Now let's take a look at the same price action that we saw by using the tick chart. Here you have that 20 cent move, and you could have made anywhere a 10 cent objective, so you'd be able to make $100. Here's the $200. Now I show a couple of potential trades that we're going to teach our members in our trading room. Here we have actually two possible trades using a strategy. And so we're looking at a very a fast scalping trade of $100 to $150 per trade. That is just for one contract of the major crude oil. Now remember we're talking about tick charts. These are charts that are not based upon time, but price activity. And you may wonder, well, why am I really looking at the tick bar or volume bars or range charts, why am I not using a normal time-based chart? Well, let's take a look. Here we're taking a look at the crude oil again at a 15-minute chart. Now, what you see is that we had suddenly, out of nowhere, had a big vertical run. Now, what happens is that if you use indicators to indicate a bullish trend, well, as you can tell, it was too fast. I even show the five minute chart during the same time of which the price moves up so fast, even the 50 period simple moving average was too slow in indicating of a bull market change. Now let's take a look at our range chart. This is the same price movement that we have seen previously in the 15 minute chart and the five minute chart. And what you're seeing is that we were able to change the direction of trend. And we've even put this little era right here of which we've had strategies that we teach our members how to indicate that we have moved from a bear trend to a bull trend. And actually, we had several different possible trades all during this particular price movement. So why do we choose the 233 tick bar or the 610 tick bars because it is based upon price action not time and because of that we're able to execute and indicate the change of trend faster but how do I learn this well it's very simple you become a member of our trading room you're going to watch how and why we place trades what was our reasoning for our trade what are the strategies that we can basically indicate that we have a new bull trend. What are some of the strategies that we can use when we have some scalping trades during this particular time as well? You're going to learn all of this by becoming a member of our trading room.
Now, I've discussed crude oil, but as you know, as we begin to develop our trade very soon, we're going to have not just besides crude, here we're taking a look at the E-mini S&P using very similar strategies. And this is why you're going to be able to learn this rather fast because you're going to learn how to take trades in regards to crude oil, the E-mini S&P. And here we're taking a look at the E-mini NASDAQ. I finished this video so you can see what we're working on in regards to our monitor and our presentation for our trading room. We're going to have the 233 tick bar for basically execution as well as analyzing the trends on a short-term basis. We have the 610 tick bar chart because we use that for as a quote anchor chart but we also use that to execute trades as well that seek a larger profit objective. Here I'm showing you even a larger period in regards to almost the 1600 tick bar chart. But we do have to watch from time to time price based charts. This is why we'll have a appearance of the five minute chart, the 30 minute, and of course we have the daily and weekly chart so we get a long term perspective. And at the bottom what I'm now working on is to easily gives us the ability for our membership and myself to be able to call the trades, look at the dollar risk and as well as our dollar objectives for our particular trades, either in the 233 and the 610. We'll look at the price in regards to swings above and swing below. We're going to be able to look at this easily, which means I'll be able to call these trades the hours of our trading room run from 7.30 to noon, Eastern Standard Time. And I do want to prepare you for the kind of trading that we do at our IamADayTrader.com. We are short-term traders. So you're going to see trades many times during the day. This is a very active room. Of course, if the market gets very, very flat, we will probably not trade at that particular time. Of course, we can then be able to answer any questions our members have in regards to our trading. I think you're going to find that this is a very, very different from many trading rooms that you see on the Internet. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in our trading room at IamADayTrader.com. This is John Sheely, Director of Research and Development.